Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Anime Shah. I am a clinical oncologist and today we will be discussing about bladder cancer. So bladder is the organ in our body which stores urine and any cancer involving bladder is called bladder cancer. The commonest type of bladder cancer is called transitional cell carcinoma. According to Globocon data 2020, there are about 21,000 new cases of bladder cancer in 2020 in India along with 11,000 deaths. So uh, the most common cause of bladder cancer is smoking. Uh, tobacco smoking including passive smoking accounts for about 50% of bladder cancer. 2 naphthyl amine polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon present in cigarette has been shown to be implicated with bladder cancer. Exposure to aromatic amines chlorinated hydrocarbon, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon which are commonly found in petroleum, dye industries, paint industries, uh, rubber industries has been shown to be implicated with bladder cancer. Chronic infection with uh, cystothomiasis, which is commonly found in Africa and Middle East has been shown to be associated with bladder cancer. Chronic inflammation as well as retention of urine has also been shown to be associated with bladder cancer. Genetic association. There are certain genetic conditions like retinoblastoma or Lynch syndrome which has been shown to be uh, associated with bladder cancer. A positive family history of bladder cancer in first degree relative doubles individual risk of bladder cancer. So the symptoms of bladder cancer include a blood coming in urine with or without pain, uh, urinary urgency, hesitancy or increased frequency or irritative symptoms. So whenever a patient comes to us with these symptoms, we uh, take a detailed history, we clinically examine the patient, we do some routine blood test and we also recommend a urine test as well. And most often uh, we ask for a cystoscopy and a guided biopsy which is called TURBT. Uh, sometimes before proceeding with the cystoscopy we need an ultrasound. Once a biopsy confirms cancer, we uh, recommend a CT scan of chest, abdomen, pelvis and sometimes an MRI scan of the pelvis to look for the extent of the tumor. And in selected cases, we ask for whole body PET CT scan as well. Uh, based on the extent of the tumor, uh, spread of the tumor to lymph node or distant organ, uh, the bladder cancer can do, uh, be divided into four stages, stage 1 to stage 4. So for the purpose of treatment, it has been divided into four different stages like superficial bladder cancer, muscle invasive bladder cancer, locally advanced bladder cancer and metastatic bladder cancer. So treatment of bladder cancer depends on various factors that include stage of the cancer, age of the patient, general medical fitness of the patient, any medical comorbidities that the patient might have and patient's wish. So uh, coming to the first one, the superficial bladder cancer. This group of patients are usually treated with intravesical chemotherapy or intravesical BCG. Next coming to the treatment of muscle invasive bladder cancer. This group of patients are usually treated with surgery which is also called a radical cystectomy, which involves removal of entire bladder. Some patient might need a chemotherapy before proceeding with the surgery. If a patient is not willing for surgery or unfit for surgery, then non-surgical treatment with radiotherapy uh, plus or minus chemotherapy is, an, uh, is another valid option. When radiotherapy is con contemplated, Intensity modulated radiotherapy or IMRT, also called VMAT or RapidArc, are used commonly nowadays. And these techniques have been shown to precisely target the cancer 
with reducing the dose to surrounding normal organ like bowel, uh, hip bone, etc. and thus reduces the side effect from radiotherapy. Now coming to the treatment of locally advanced bladder cancer. This group of patients are usually treated with chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Now coming to the treatment of metastatic bladder cancer. This group of patients are usually incurable. The aim of treatment at this stage is to try to control the cancer, try to control the symptoms from the cancer and try to improve the survival of the patient and improve the quality of life. So the primary treatment at this stage is uh, chemotherapy. Uh, with recent advancement, immunotherapy is showing some promising result in bladder cancer. Some patient might need, might need palliative radiotherapy for symptom control like pain or bleeding. Thank you for watching.